In this video, we're going to go through a couple of different ways that you can share your Power BI reports without needing a paid plan. We'll also go through my recommended ways of sharing your reports and why you should do these in the first place. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So as you know when working with Power BI reports, sharing them within the Power BI service would typically need at least a pro license, not just for you who is sharing the report but also to the people that you're sharing the reports to. This means that if you or your organization doesn't already have Power BI licenses, it's easy to build and publish reports, but sharing them across the organization can be a little bit tricky. In this video, we're gonna go through some of the ways that you can share your reports without needing a pro license. The first way that you can share your report is by taking a screenshot of it can do this by using any snipping tool like this one from um, Windows. So if you just simply drag and select the page that you want to snapshot, this you can save this now into an image and you can share it to your team. This image is essentially a static version of your report, but it allows you to easily save and share it to your colleagues. The next way is to export your reports to PowerPoint. So here's a report that we have in the Power BI service. If we select export, PowerPoint, embed an image. So from here you have a couple different options. You can export the report using the current values if you have anything selected or the default values that you have in the report. You can also disable or exclude hidden report tabs. So here for example we have a lot of hidden report tabs, or you can only export the current page if that's what you're interested in. If you just leave it by default like this and hit export, you'll see it will start to generate that PowerPoint slide, which would have just the page that we wanted to export here. So now that that's done, you'll see that it's generated a PowerPoint presentation for us, which here, if you can see, it just simply exports the page that we were on um, and this would be an equivalent to taking a screenshot because it's essentially if we just enable editing here for a second it's essentially just an image file onto a powerpoint exporting your reports this way can be a lot faster though especially if you have multiple pages to export the next way is to export your reports to pdf this again exports a static version of your report into a PDF file, which allows you to share to your colleagues quickly and easily. You do this from the Power BI service here under exports and PDF. You will see that the window looks familiar. So you can set the export settings, the current values or default values, hidden report tabs or only export the current page. If you hit export, it will start to generate the PDF file. So this will generate a PDF file for us, which if we open, will be a PDF file with the pages that we wanted to export. Now that we've looked at how to share your reports as images or static images, let's go through the two ways that you can share an interactive version of your report for free. First is to make it public by publishing it to the web. You do this by going to file, embed report and publish to web. So this option here, this makes your Power BI report accessible to anyone who has the URL link. So if you select here, for example, we can create an embed code here, for example, we hit publish and it will generate a link for us, which we can use to share this report around. You can copy this link and send it to your colleagues and they can simply view the reports on the web or you can use the HTML code below it to embed it to your personal website. I do have to put a disclaimer here though to say that be very careful when using this option as this makes your Power BI reports accessible to anyone. So I really don't recommend using it if your report contains company data or any sensitive data you don't want to be public. 
I typically use it when I want to demo how my work or portfolio looks like, but the reports never contain sensitive data. Embed codes are typically disabled. It's already enabled on mine because I already used it, but if you want to enable it, you simply need to go to admin portal from the cog icon here. Under tenant settings, you need to go to publish to web and here this will be disabled by default. You just simply need to enable this and hit apply. Then under the embed codes part of your admin portal, you will see all the reports that you have, which you've generated a public embed code URL for. You don't really need a premium or pro license for this. You simply need to have admin rights to your Power BI tenant. There's a video I covered which allows you to get a free Microsoft E5 license, which allows you to create a tenant, then create user accounts for that tenant, which you can use to create a Power BI account that will have admin rights. There are a few more processes in between here, which is a bit lengthy, so I'll cover it in another video. Essentially, this way allows you to share interactive versions of your reports to anyone. The last way that you can share your reports for free is by directly sharing the PBIX file. So when you create a report in Power BI Desktop, typically you'd save a .pbix file in your local machine, which contains your data model and visuals. You can share this file to your teams directly, which will allow them to access everything in the report. The downside is that they'll need to download and install Power BI Desktop in order to open the file itself. Now that you know how to share your reports for free to other users, I usually don't recommend using these methods unless it's absolutely necessary. Now, why is that? First of all, as you noticed with all these methods, you have very limited control over who gets to see the report itself. You might send the PowerPoint to your colleague, but he might reshare it to another colleague or publish your report to the web, which means anyone can see it. You also don't get to take advantage of Microsoft's built-in security features like role-level security or user access permissions, which would normally define who or what level of access people should have. Therefore, if you're working with corporates or sensitive data, I'd highly recommend you sharing your reports using the Power BI service. Here are a couple different ways that you can share your reports. First is by sharing the report directly using the share button. The share button is here and it allows you to define anyone within the business. You can control what they can do on top of your report, such as the ability to share and reshare or the ability to build content on top of it. If someone shared your report and you want to access this report, you can simply go to browse and shared with me. This will list all the reports that were shared to you. The next way is to share a workspace where the report is kept. Workspaces are like shared spaces that you can use with other Power BI developers where you can collaborate on reports, datasets, and dashboards all in one place. And you can set different levels of access here. So to share a workspace, you simply need to go to the workspace itself, go to access, put the name of the person you want to share the workspace to, and set the type of access they can have. Another way you can share reports is by sharing them through an app. Apps are official packages built to deploy reports, and other file types like dashboards, reports, scorecards, all in one place. I actually covered it in a separate video already, so go check it out if you want to know more about apps. You'll notice that within apps, there is no share option here, but that's because you need to go back to the workspace itself. So if this was the Northwind app, we need to go here, update app, and under permissions, here you can set the access to specific individuals and allow them to do different things like build or share permissions. If you use Teams a lot within your organization, I have great news for you because Power BI is integrated into Teams as well. You can simply copy the URL of your reports and paste it here. This will allow you to access Power BI reports without ever leaving Teams. And by the way, as a reminder, 
all of these methods require a pro license in order for them to work. But the beauty of it comes with the managing of the accesses for these reports, because you manage the accesses all in one place within the Power BI service. If you revoke access to a person, for example, even if they have a link to the report itself, they won't be able to see the reports anymore, which is great for security purposes. The last one is this new functionality that the Power BI team has released, which is the ability to embed live Power BI reports into PowerPoint slides. So from this report that we have in the Power BI service, you simply go to export, PowerPoint, and then we go to the second option here, embed live data. This will generate a report for us, which we can um, copy and send out, or we can just simply open it in PowerPoint. This will allow you to interact with reports all within PowerPoint. So it's a great option if your users are used to using PowerPoint instead of Power BI. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know the different ways that you can share reports in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.